Let's talk about weekly reviews. This is probably my most enjoyable time period of the week. Um, so much so, I like to turn this into a ritual. I usually will do it on a Sunday. It's a good transition day between the weekend and the weekend. And uh, for me, if it's cold out, uh, then I'm usually inside. I'll start with a nice fire. I'll make sure that I have my cup of coffee. And there might be distractions in the house, so I make sure that I have my noise-canceling headphones as well, which are key for me. Uh, during the warmer months, I love to go to the local cafe and sit outside and do the same thing. Now, I'm about 95% digital on my phone, uh, but I do still have my portable paper system that I will always have available for me as well. So let's talk about getting clear and getting current. Uh, for me, it begins with zeroing out my inboxes. I start with my email inboxes to make sure that they're zeroed out. I'm an OmniFocus user, so I accumulate a lot of things within the OmniFocus inbox. And then I will once again have my paper inbox available too. So I'll make sure to go through any of those scraps of paper that I've accumulated in that inbox too and zero it out. And then I move on to getting current. And so this is all about really making sure that that list, those next actions, those projects are just really fresh and really attractive to you and make sure that they're nice and current. And so I start with my next actions list, which I will include waiting for us and going through cleaning up anything that there is I've completed or things that I need to be adding to that list. Um, then I'm moving on to my projects. And once again, it's about making sure that every single one of my projects has a clearly defined next action identified. And then using that opportunity to clean up the project planning tasks as well. And then I move on to my checklist, a brief scan of my checklist to see if anything needs to be added to my next action list. And then I'll move on to my trigger list once again, looking to see whether or not anything needs to be converted into a next action or needs to be converted into a project. I will end this stage with my calendars. I'll use the final step as an opportunity to briefly reflect on the previous week, but more importantly, to really reflect on the week ahead and to make sure that now I'm in this point of control, that I, have a, I can envision what that next week is going to look like. And then lastly, the stage of creative, which David Allen refers to as just an opportunity for just creative thoughts and thinking to come about. And this is probably one of my most favorite times of this process because now that I really truly feel like I'm in control and I have a great sense of what the week is going to look like, some of my best thinking comes out at this stage.